Cecilia del Rey is a lawyer of the Court of Florence specialized in labor law. Born in Florence in 1982, she has a PhD in comparative law. Del Rey has been a member of the City Council of Florence, Italy since 2014, where, since 2019, she's been in charge of urban planning, environment, urban agriculture, tourism, trade fairs and congresses, technological innovation, and information systems. These topics are particularly essential to the development of the city in the next five years. Their common denominator, sustainability, all in line with the objectives of the 2030 Agenda. What is the significance of entrepreneurship and business incubation in your area? The geographical distribution of the innovative startups in Tuscany definitely shows their concentration in the metropolitan city of Florence Almost the half of the total is localized in this territory, with the 32% concentrated just in Florence municipality. Each territory wants to improve its uh, socioeconomic wealth, and uh, what better way to do that than through entrepreneurship, which is also a catalyzer of positive change, innovation, and improvement. Entrepreneur is someone who perceives an opportunity and creates an organization to pursue it. Since entrepreneurs in developing countries do not have enough resource and knowledge to overcome the challenges they face, they will need incubators, accelerators, and new spaces and ideas to provide for them an enabling environment where they can develop their ideas and projects. Business incubators are among an assortment of initiatives to stimulate and support economic growth by promoting the creation of innovative companies. What are the deficits and challenges? Innovation is crucial for long-term economic development. Business incubators create value by combining the entrepreneurial spirit of startups with the resources that are typically available to new business. What are the benefits of European projects like SpeedUp to overcome these challenges? Projects like SpeedUp support the diffusion of policy able to improve the performance of the regional programs for local development, led to a mapping of the typology of service offered by partners and stakeholders, underlining the main critical elements of the mismatch between the demand and offer. They put the accent on innovative ideas over the good functioning of the local policies involving both the public and the private players. Contamination, networking, circulation, this is the idea, this is the way to overcome challenges and reach an upper level of innovation. What measures or instruments have been developed so far? Thanks to SpeedUp Project Florence succeed to reinforce the local innovation environment, putting together public and private source, funds, ideas and stakeholders, converging on real needs coming from the social and economic background. We created a consolidated network of nine European regions aiming to foster the cooperation even beyond the project thanks to the networking activities and common goals. We built a universe of relevant players operating all over Europe, improving their relational system. Where do you see your area in five years? Florence is internationally ranked as a smart city and the attention to innovation and sustainability is growing up day by day. Thanks to the rich history and starting from a traditional approach, the focus now is on sustainable entrepreneurship, bringing necessary transformations to the way the business are operating today, including change to products, process of firms, both of which are currently unsustainable. Encouraging entrepreneurs, even the most traditional ones, to look for innovation and sustainability could help not only them and other firms in their region, but can lead to a virtuous environment a new approach that can be replicated and transferred to other sectors and territories. The entire world is changing. Cities, jobs, travel, schools, even nature. We belong to this change, we move with it and learn day by day. But we need to speed up.